Mr. Mono. Mr. Coburn has a blue card. Do you accept? Cover. Mr. Coburn. Uh, merci, Monsieur Mono. C'est très charmant, très gentil, comme d'habitude. Thank you, Mr. Mono. Ask this question of you. I think that these vent, these capital, this capital that's going to be given to some companies in wherever. I mean, I have never heard of any in Britain. I don't know if you have in France. Um, but surely, giving those companies money to the detriment of other companies which have actually raised the money themselves and got off their bottoms and done it, why would that be a good thing? Surely those people will be able to crush those other companies that have fairly tried to raise money on the independent markets. Surely this sort of communism or socialism is very, very bad. And the reason why the European Union is going bust and why Greece is in a very bad position and why for many years, you, I know, uh, agree with me on this, that socialism in France has destroyed French entrepreneurial spirit. I want to see France rise. I don't want to see France being destroyed. Would you agree with me, sir? Les recuerdo que... Thank you very much. Uh, it's 30 seconds for these questions, not one minute. Sorry. <laughs> oui, cher collègue. Uh, uh... Yes, Mr. Coburn. I think in political and economic terms, we uh, see eye to eye. We're liberal conservatives. In France, of course, we don't want to see socialism and communism uh, gaining a foothold. None of these economic extremes. We are capitalist, and we are, of course, in favor of venture capital, because the risk will be compensated by the performance of the investment. What we don't understand here in the EU is that before we had uh, venture capital markets to fund startups and innovative businesses, and of course, uh, the states didn't wait for the EU to be founded in order to f fund these companies. So we don't think this uh, particular label is particularly good, and that's why we're being abstaining the vote.